I'm going to turn it to something. Live from San Juan Studios, it's the Sad News Smash Up, where we take the news and smash it up. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, San Juan Spartans. I'm Trey Walker. And I'm Anthony Martinez. And we're back again with another news mashup. And today we have a couple of sad videos for you guys. Here's a little disclaimer. These subjects are very touchy to some people. If you guys are having sensitive feelings towards these videos, please have viewers discretion advised. Of course. For the first video, we have a senior college student murdered after taking the wrong Uber ride home. Here's the video for you guys. Live getting into a car, her friends reportedly believe she mistook for an Uber. A day after she vanished, police say they found her body in a wooded area. Those who knew 21-year-old college senior Samantha Josephson remember her as having an infectious smile and a contagious laugh. She had a personality and a presence that lit up a room every time she entered. And that is the senior college student that has got unfortunately murdered by taking the wrong Uber ride home. You always want to make sure that it's the right Uber driver. Make sure you're not just getting into random cars because unfortunate scenarios like this can happen to anybody. Next story we have about um, mommy. Nimsy Hustle. Nimsy Hustle. And um, it's a sad video as well. Um, he was recently gunned down and we have more footage about that. Grammy-nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle knew the man who is now suspected of killing him outside of his South L.A. store. Police say the motivation of the shooting appears to be a personal matter and not gang-related, that we don't have the details. A vigil for the rapper started peacefully, but several people were hurt in a stampede that started when a person tried to disarm a man with a gun. Hussle. mean for you? I mean, he represents somebody who's honorable. He represents somebody who speaks for both sides of the class system. You know? Uh, I mean, he speaks for people who have lack of access, and he speaks to people who have access. You don't see those type of examples, you know, like you aspire to what you're exposed to. And I think he represented something that was just so much bigger than music. He represented somebody that knew their power and walked in it and lived in it and shared wisdom. That's who he was. That's what his legacy was. That's what his music spoke yeah. to. And I think that's what he'll be remembered for. What a blessing for you yeah, to have that time mm -hmm. with him. Julian Mitchell, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. He famously sold his mixtape, a CD, on the streets of South L.A. for $100 a pop. He raked in $100,000 in just 24 hours, and that was just the tip of the iceberg. And today, he is being remembered as a savvy and street-credible business. The 33-year-old born Ermias Ashkadom shot dead outside his Los Angeles clothing store. Two other people wounded in that shooting. Definitely a sad, sad, tragic event. Um, obviously, send prayers to his family, his community. And John Legend in shock, tweeting, I just spent Thursday with him and filmed a video for a beautiful new song. We come from gang culture, so we dealt with the system a lot. The father of two known for his music, creating jobs in South L.A. as an entrepreneur with several businesses and investments in education and the arts. Growing up as a gang member, he worked with police to curb gang violence. He was just there for the community. Who I am confident is watching this and is listening to these media accounts, I ask him to surrender. What they're now saying about this tonight, and it comes amid that new surveillance showing the moment the artist was shot and killed. ABC's Adrian Bankert from Los Angeles. Tonight, after an aggressive all-out manhunt, authorities say they've captured 29-year-old Eric Holder. Overnight, a vigil for the Grammy-nominated artist in the parking lot where he was murdered. It turned into a stampede. It's very sad because a lot of artists nowadays, they hold up a reputation with everybody. So we hope that his legacy and um, fans of him remember him for what he was when he was alive. For sure. And that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for watching Spartan News. And we'll nope, we forgot the news. <laughs> okay. 
So it's going to be raining for the next two days and thunderstorm, of course. But on Sunday, it's going to be sunny and it's going to be nice weather for the rest of that next week. So now that's the end of our show. <laughs> that's the end of our show. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.